I have a hard time opening up. I, I choose to wear my heart on my sleeve. When it comes to my music, I'm very bare and naked, and that's where I feel like I connect with people fastest. If you want to get to know me, listen to my music. If you're trying to get to know me on a personal level, it'll take some time. I think why my music has a lot of melancholy in it is because of experience and I'm drawn to it. I find it beautiful. I'm a very emotional person. I, I cry easily. My music is reflecting my personality and it's very honest. So that's why it sounds the way it does. Music that actually moved me, moved my soul, uh, that made me want to become a singer was hearing um, voices like, uh, you know, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, um, Stevie Wonder, Prince, all those greats. I was really inspired by artists with, with big voices. So that's how I started singing. And then later on started listening more to uh, all types of genres and, and the writing of Lauren Hill really inspired me. Um, so that's when I got into to songwriting more and more. And my musical journey has been so long, so I've, I've dealt with all types of situations from being, you know, signed when I was 14 and, and having a really good uh, relationship with my, that label at the time. Uh, they were developing me, uh, making me just be free and just, that was my activity after school. I was always in the studio writing. But then I've been in other situations as well where I've signed, you know, contracts without legal advising, um, been stuck in bad deals, um, people telling me what to do, what to wear, how to sing, what to say in interviews, just turning me into something I'm not. So everyone gets shaped from what they go through in life and it's hard to brush off certain insecurities of not maybe trusting people in the industry. Um, so it was really important for me to find um, a team of people that I could finally trust and do what I want to do with. Uh, and people that could see my true vision as an artist. And I finally found that. There Will Be Sunshine is the title track of my EP. I just thought it, it would suit to be the title because it just sums up the theme of the EP and also the album, which I would say is, it's about the struggle of being strong, you know, going through all these things and, and, and my musical journey. And, and There Will Be Sunshine is probably one of the most personal pieces that I've written. It's about kind of coming to peace with certain things that happened to me in my life that I will probably never get the answers to. You just have to accept certain things and, and be positive and keep a, a good spirit. So that's what There Will Be Sunshine is about. I would say my music is cinematic. I was really inspired by, you know, listening to soundtracks to films growing up as well. That's why I'm so into big choirs and string arrangements and you hear a lot of pads in my songs because I grew up listening to that and, and I wanted to bring that cinematic feel into my into my sound. I write all my songs myself or co-write my songs usually but I didn't write emotional but I heard the demo and I felt like I had to record it. It just spoke to me and it was about something I was going through at that exact moment. It's really important for me that, you know, I can stand for what I'm singing. If somebody else can help me say my story, that's amazing. I wanna love him. But what if he hurts me? 
So the Rizzer from Wu Tang produced Emotional, and uh, he's another hip hop legend, just as No ID. Um, I don't know how I got to work with all these hip hop legends, but I feel really blessed. They're all also happen to be very wise people. I got to work with um, amazing director Sarah Chatfield and Paul Laufer as my director of photography and I wanted to work with him for a long time so uh, it was just really amazing to just capture the performance. Uh, we, we didn't think too much doing that video, making the video. We, uh, it was all about me just being free and performing and having fun with it. become the soundtrack to your life and I, um, I connect certain songs to certain memories I think we all do and I, I, I wish that I, some of my music can be somebody's special moment in their life and that they can have a beautiful memory alongside to, with my music there the greats that I'm around right now and that I've been blessed to have in my uh, team, people I work with, um, legendary people. They, they are sharing their gift with me and they do it because they feel responsibility for the culture, for the music. That's just very inspiring to me to know that I have a responsibility as well. So, I'm saying yes to things that you